friends, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. I am Zahite, and here we are back in our base. In the last episode, we started setting up a volcano thingy majiggy, and everything broke, and I haven't actually been back in this safe to fix it. So, it's still broken. I also haven't finished setting up these other volcanoes that I said I was going to do, but I will do it. I will do it. Just one thing at a time. But since I haven't got to that stuff yet, and I still want to make progress in this episode, and I don't want to just make you guys watch me rebuild the same thing that we built in the last one, I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to leave it for now. And what we're going to do is start working on our industrial zone over here. So, some things that I'm going to need. Let's see here. We already talked about needing a kiln. And I think... Well, I was going to say I think one kiln's probably enough. Do these things make anything bad? They just make heat. Fire's clay to produce ceramic. Okay, let's, let's just plunk one of these down and see what it does. I'm not sure exactly where I want this. Um, we'll just... Mm, let's put it down here instead. Cause so I can get an auto sweeper and stuff going on above it. Perhaps. We can get some of these guys going. Can it reach... I think it'll reach if I do something like that. And then should I be dumping clay? Should I be dumping clay? How do I want to do this? I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet. First thing I want to do though is see what recipes are in this kiln because I don't remember and I don't think I have one laying around anywhere. Do I have one laying around somewhere? I don't think I have any laying around anywhere, so... We're just gonna let the guys build that, and then we're gonna see what recipes there are. Then we can determine how many of those we're gonna need. Alright, so here we go. We got some kilns. We can make refined carbon and ceramic, and that's all we can make. So... I don't know if we need more than... I don't know if we need more than one of each one. But... For what it's worth, we've got tons of room, so maybe let's set it up. Let's set it up to have two for each one. So these two will both be making refined carbon. And can I set those up to automation? Oh, I can. Interesting. Okay, so what I want to do, I think, we want to turn this down. Because if there's something else to do, I don't want our guys making carbon. So how do I want to do this exactly? Conveyor, receptacle, unload solid material from a conveyor rail. Okay, so we're going to want a loader. Uh, are we going to want a loader? I think so, because we're going to put the refined carbon into the loader. I should figure out what all we need refined carbon for. I think it's only used in steel. Refined carbon. Okay, so currently it is only used for steel. So what we're going to do with this is make the refined carbon here put it into the loader and then send this loader right down here somewhere where we where will where we will be making steel so this is going to accept no not none of that stuff Refined carbon is going to go in there. And what we can do, I 
think is hook this thing up to those guys. I think. Uh, except we probably want to not gate in here, right? If it's not full, send a signal. Now, the next thing, refine. We want metal refinery. And I think, how do I want to do this, guys? I think one machine for steel is probably enough. But we should make... We should make a few different things here, I'm thinking. And because steel takes a bunch of weird stuff, I think what we're gonna do is have a little storage. How do I wanna do this? We're gonna need a loader to put the steel into, which can actually go anywhere. And then we're gonna want three inputs. Iron, steel, no, iron, that uh, lime or whatever it's called. I think it's lime. And then activated coal. Yes, I think that's right. So we're gonna put that right into there. And if it's not full, it should want to make more, I hope. Now, while that's happening, we also want to send coal into there. Which we're going to have to bring. The coal is going to come from over here. This should be fine. We can steal a little bit of coal, put it in there, send it on its way. I mean, we've got tons and tons and tons of coal, so we can just steal a little bit, shove it in there, and send it over here for further refinement. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. There's five different things. How do I want to do this? I mean, I guess the way I can do it, I was going to bring all the resources down here. That's going to take a lot of conveyor rails. Um, so maybe for now, I'll just, oh, how do I want to do this guys? Maybe for now, you know what? Let's just leave it one for now. We'll get the steel set up because that's the hardest one to do. And then after that one's hooked up and actually running, then we can start worrying about how we're going to set the rest of them up. I want to bring power through here and it's going to need to be a lot of power. Oh no. I can't put that there because this block's in the way. I was trying to outsmart the system by putting that there, but it's still not going to be enough. So what's going to end up happen having to happen then for now is we're going to have to do this. I don't want all this crap to leak into my base, so we're going to just have to do that for now. Okay, so this thing is now sending coal all the way across and into our storage. And oh, this thing doesn't have power yet. Okay, that's fine. We brought this transformer, not this transformer. We brought this main power. So what we can do is bring that out. And we may as well just run it right across at least one of the rooms. And then from there, how does this work? I don't think the transformers work this way. Ah, uh, they take the power in from the top. These things are going to take a ton of power. So while they're on, we're going to want to run this power to them. And I don't know why that didn't connect. There we go. 
All right, something like that. And then we can also, while we're up here doing this stuff, we can also, ah, oh, I went one too high. Rah! We can also connect to a transformer or even two and have maximum wattage in one of our little power lines here. So those two will link together and can head off on their merry old way. Oh, that's perfect. I love it. Let's just connect this like so. And actually what we're gonna wanna do is cancel that and stick a bridge in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go guys. Now we're on to something. So I seem to run, I seem to have run into a snag where I don't think the sweepers can pull out of the receptacle. Which is kind of a problem because I need the coal to come out of here and get put onto there. Now it's kind of weird because the the sweepers can pull out of regular storages. That's not a problem. Like they can pull out of these. But they can't pull out of these? Is that right? If I set this to one and set this to nine, this thing has power. It should want to push into those things, right? I, I don't know what's going on. Oh, it's disabled by automation grid. Oh, it's disabled by automation grid. Okay, 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 okay. Um, this thing was also disabled by automation grid, so I got rid of it. But what I think we need to do then is put a sensor on here. And if it's not sensing coal... then it, everything should be on. If it's not sensing coal, everything should be on. If it is sensing coal, it can turn everything off. All right, so that's all set up. Now, if this thing detects refined carbon for five seconds, it's going to send a signal and it's going to turn everything off, which is good. That's what we want. We want to turn everything off. Okay, and if it hasn't, then it's going to start shooting stuff down and everything's going to be perfect. Perfect. Okay. Woo. So, the next thing we have to work on is cooling down our uh, our thingy mabobs here. What are these called? Metal refineries, and those are going to take petroleum. So, we're probably going to want a oil refinery. I think we're gonna want a few oil refineries. We probably only need one, right? We probably only need one. I mean, we could make more so that our petroleum generators actually have petroleum. But I think to start with, we'll just make one. I mean, we gotta start somewhere. And what we'll do is actually plumb the output out over and all the way to the back somewhere where we will store it oh where do I want to store it let's store it in some reservoirs as per usual something like this should do the trick we'll go up and into those and then we'll come out and we'll go over mm, like that and then we can go how do I want to do this part actually 
because we're going to want to cool it down and then put it back in the system. So I think what has to happen is where we're going over this pipe. That's where we will connect. That's where we will connect the output of these pipes. Like that. And this should have priority over this one. If it's not full, it will start to make more. Uh, I don't know if I like it. It might get all plugged up. I guess we could stick a valve in here. Maybe? Can we stick a valve in here? No. But we could stick a valve... Over here. Alright guys, so I am now... Pumping lime... And... This should be... Iron. Yeah, iron ore and lime are getting put in here. They're gonna get shipped down. Shipping. I'm gonna take them all the way down and store them in these little receptacles here. And that's where we're gonna start making our steel. Oy, oy, oy. I don't think we're gonna have room for all this stuff. Somewhere I have to put one of these things. And it doesn't look like it's going to want to go over top of things. Oh, we might have made a mistake. I don't know where I'm going to put this. Although if we delete this. Whoa, 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 whoa. If I cancel this. Can I put a sweeper in here? Yeah, no, I still can't. Uh, we might have made a huge mistake. So I think I'm going to have to move all of this automation stuff. And send it out the other way. Because I need that sweeper right here. What if I deconstruct this? Just for the time being and see how this works. I'm gonna want to disable these buildings for now. Or bad things are gonna happen. Anyway, I'm also setting up a spot over here. We're gonna airlock this because... This, I believe... Yeah, this thing makes natural gas. So, that's gonna be a little bit of a problem. And I think what we're going to have to do is pipe it into this system. The only issue, though, is if the pressure in here starts to get too high where these don't work anymore, we're going to have to start burning off natural gas. And right now, the way this is set up, this will have priority. So I'm going to have to break that, put a little bridge in there. And then connect a pump to that, I think. It's going to be sloppy, but I think we can do it. All right, I think we've got the automation set up for this. All we're going to need now is a loader. So that can go in here pretty much anywhere. We're just going to take the steel and we're going to send it into storage somewhere. Okay, this thing is set up. We are starting to create a vacuum in here. It's gonna take a while. Actually, it's not gonna take as long as I thought. It's, uh, it's really giving her, so that's perfect. Once the vacuum is set up, all I gotta do is disconnect this, connect it into there. Oh, hang on. I just realized we don't have that connected okay there we go we're gonna have to deal with the water in here at some point i hope the pressure in here is not getting too high these pumps are supposed to activate okay i think they are yeah and they're shooting stuff straight into outer space way up here yep just right out there evacuating our base okay perfect 
So I'm hoping this thing is going to produce enough petroleum to get at least a little bit of heat transfer going in this space before it overheats, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be in trouble. Oh, oh, that's, uh, that's a little bit too much. A little bit too much oil there, guys. Chill. Just chill. Here comes the resources. Chugga, 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 choo, choo. Awesome. Oh, crap. We don't have power here yet. How can we forget power? Okay, we'll get that hooked up. Then this thing should start working. I don't know if I actually want this to be infinity. I might just come over here and hit it for the number that I want whenever I want more. That's probably the best way to do this. And we can also set the priority. Oh yeah, it's super high already. So we can set the priority super high. And then anytime I need steel, they should just come down here and start smashing out some steel. I'm thinking we probably also want a polymer press or two and a glass forge. Well, maybe not the polymer plus press actually we're making so much plastic we have 40 tons of plastic and that is all coming from wherever the heck my farm is that is all coming from here 40 tons of plastic and it's growing because we just got some more so it's uh it's going let's just take those why not okay so maybe we won't really use the plas plastic pl plastic press? What was it? Polymer press? Where did it go? Polymer press. I don't know if we'll use that. I don't know, guys. Let me know in the comments if you think it's worth it. Are we going to need more than 40 tons of plastic? <laughs> That's a lot of plastic. I think for sure we're going to want at least one of these to start producing glass. And I'm thinking there's no point in me setting it up down here when I could just set it up up here. Right? Am I crazy? I don't know. I don't know. All right. We finally got this gas done. So anything below 3,000... No, anything above 3,000 is going to turn this pump on. Let's deconstruct this. Get this thing actually hooked up where it's supposed to be. And then we have to increase the priority of this stuff. Hopefully it will start working ASAP. We're gonna have to actually connect. Oh, it's already connected. Okay, I thought for some reason the power was over there, but we're good. Okay, okay, okay. This should not disable by automation grid. Perfect. Okay, all of that is perfect. Boy, oh boy. We're gonna have to get some more kilns for ceramic. I haven't done that yet. I think ceramic is just a better insulated tile. I'm not sure what else you use it for. Is there a way I can view it here? Let's see. You can turn ceramic into sand. You can make ceramic with clay and coal. Interesting. And what do we use it for? It is a reliable construction material. Do my duplicates need to be here while this thing's running? Oh my god, they do. I'm gonna have to get suits. Or at least one suit. They can't breathe when they're in there. Ah. Uh... Stupid. We're gonna have to get suits for them. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. I don't really have room. 
I guess I could stick them right here if I extend this platform over one. Ah, uh, That is quite annoying. But it is what it is, I guess. How do I do that? Utilities? Stations? Well, let's just stick it there. I'm gonna have to get one more tile. We're gonna have to put it in there. And then we're gonna have to get a dock. Ah, it's really annoying, but... It is what it is, guys. Alright, guys. We've got oxygen coming down here. We've got power, I think. I think this thing has everything it's gonna need now. To actually start working. So this room is now going to be functioning. It was kind of a mess. I had to take this pipe and run it around and, and all that. But now my little dude should just be able to sit in here. Not a care in the world. And just pump out petroleum. And I think what I'm going to want to do... Huh, I haven't quite figured out how I want this to work. Can I set... I think I can. If this gets to be 50% full, then I think what I want to have happen sends a green signal when the reservoir is less than low. Okay. So we're going to want to run this all the way and plug it into there, I believe. So that should work. And what I've done up here is a little loop. I started thinking about it after and I probably didn't do this as well as I could have. Um, I wanted this loop to take priority over this one. So all this is doing is the bridge is going over, this bridge is going in. So if this line has something in it, then this one won't let anything else go in I think is how that's gonna work I hope that's how that's gonna work I still haven't quite figured out a hundred percent how all the bridges and stuff work hopefully that's right anyway then we're testing the temperature to make sure that it is below 75 degrees because if it's not my tanks are gonna overheat so if it it's not below 75 degrees, then it should turn this valve off, which is going to send that into here to get cooled off. And if it comes out and is still not below 75 degrees, it's just going to keep going around and around and around and around until it is below 75 degrees. And then it's going to get sent back down here to get put into storage. So I think that's going to work out just nice. Now, I want to try this. Let's... Let's just do this. Let's do 10. Okay, I think it's working. It's gonna start loading stuff. Waiting for materials. You should not be waiting for materials because all the materials are here. Iron ore, lime, refined carbon. What are you waiting for? It was waiting for Oh, it doesn't want iron ore. It wants iron iron. Uh, crap. Oh, no. Okay, so we have to change this to be... Wait, it is iron ore. No, no, no. We don't want iron ore. That's the problem. <laughs> we want iron iron. Okay, that will fix it. But the problem right now is this thing is full of iron ore. We're going to have to dump this somehow. I don't really know how to do that, though. I guess what I could do is set up another refinery here. Output pipe full? Oh, okay. Okay. You know what I should do? I should set up another reservoir to store so that it's not waiting. Why is it out of power? 
Oh, because it takes 1,200. Okay. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. We can fix that. We have heavy wi wire here. We'll just run that down. And I really, really need to... Disconnect this wire, please. Okay, we'll hook that up. I'm gonna need to cool this area. And we've already got cool water flowing right by. So I think... I think what I should be able to do... I don't know exactly if this is gonna work or not. But if I get temperature shift plates... And we make them out of... Do I have more diamond? Ice? Diamond is just so good. I don't know what it looks like though. Diamond! Okay, so we'll put a couple of these down. Oh, we can't actually put that up there though. Uh, but we can put metal blocks. We'll put a few metal blocks there. Hopefully that will pull the heat out. Okay, so then all we got to do is get some radiant pipes in here. Get some insulated pipes in here because we don't want... We don't want the heat to get put right back into the thing that we're cooling off. That would be bad. Okay. I think that is pretty good. I also want to... I, I think I do want to get a reservoir in here at some point, but we'll see. Maybe once this is running full bore, it won't be as big of a problem. Alright, so it seems like that's kind of getting the job done for now. This thing is not getting above... 90... Which is still really hot, actually. Yeah, we might have to... We might have to modify that a little bit more. The cooling is a work in progress, but... This base here is starting to function. It's not... It's not the best. But we're still kind of learning. We're learning on the fly here. Anyway, we're now able to make as much steel as we could ever want. I just really wish I brought iron here instead of iron ore. But, I mean... Yeah, it is what it is, I guess. We'll have to start using the iron ore in an iron machine. Ah, oh, jeez Louise, I got a mess ahead of me. But that's okay. For now, it's okay. We're now making petroleum, we're making natural gas. And... You know what we could do? Is... If this gets full, start putting some of it into our generators. I don't know if we really need it right now. I don't... I'm not sure. It seems like our batteries still have a little bit of juice. And for some reason, only one of these things is actually running. What's going on? It says it's enabled. Oh, is it because it can't output? Ah, uh, it's because it can't output. I'm pretty sure. So, we're gonna have to do something like that, I think. Hopefully that will fix it. I'm not deconstructing these, am I? No. Alright. I think if we connect these like that, I think it will fix it? We'll see what happens here in a moment. Okay, there we go. So if you have all the outputs connected in a single row like that, they kind of block each other in and then they don't work properly so you have to actually have a branch and then it allows the stuff to merge together 
now that I'm looking at it, I need to do a similar system here because this is never going to empty otherwise. So I should deconstruct this and just put a new pipe. Just like that. Okay, anyway. That is a really good start for us. We, had, we are now almost fully automating steel. I kind of screwed up a little bit with the resources. We're bringing in iron. I mean, we're bringing in oil. We're turning it into petroleum. We're making natural gas. We also have this little system up here to make the byproduct of steel or the, I guess, ingredient of steel. I forget it was called charcoal or something. Anyway, we can start making ceramic maybe, and then we'll have upgraded insulation. I don't know what else ceramic is for. I think that's pretty much it. Maybe some high tech stuff later on in the game, which we haven't quite got to yet, but I mean, this is the start of my industrial zone. It, it has a lot of work that it needs. <laughs> it has a lot of work that it needs, but it's a start. I'm kind of happy with it for now. I'm not super happy with it, but it, but it'll work. So as long as it'll work, it'll get us by for now. I can clean it up next time or in the future. It's kind of how I do things. I start, make it really crappy and then figure out how it actually works. And then we can go back in and we can clean it up after. So we have so much room now in this base and we're not really using most of it. I still want to get more rooms, which we haven't quite worked out yet. There's, yeah, hospital we don't even have anymore. I deleted it. Massage clinic, we may as well make a greenhouse. We already got stables. Recreation room, park, nature reserve. These are all things that we can make because we've got so much room. I just don't know where to exactly put it right now. I also want to get this stuff out of here and kind of tuck it in over here. There's no reason for me to take this pump it over here, cool it off, and then pump it all the way back when I can just do a little loop over here. So I'm going to probably do that at some point as well. But yeah, that's it, guys. We're doing pretty good. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have any pointers for me moving forward on our industry, industry, industrialized zone. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. Oh man, there was an update today apparently to decrease the amount of lag in the game. And the saves are still taking forever. The saves are taking absolutely forever. I am noticing that the game itself plays a little bit better, but I'm not sure if it's because of the update or because I swept up almost everything I have into this little block right here. I'm scared to put my cursor over it, but... I swept up everything in my base into that one little block, so th that might be helping as well. Anyway, I have so much work to do. I've been just so busy, guys. If you don't know, I own a farm or I work on a farm with my family and it's seeding time. So I've been so busy on weekends. I haven't had time to play this game, which is why it seems like we haven't really done much since the last episode. But hopefully soon I'll be back and better than ever. Looking forward to your comments, guys. Other than that, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. If you're liking the series so far, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I'll see you next time.